Welcome to Weathersfield High School. My name is Siobhan O'Connor. On behalf of our administrative team, I'd like to welcome all of our new students to our virtual tour of Weathersfield High School. Unfortunately, due to current COVID-19 restrictions that are in place through the end of the 2020-21 school year, we were unable to host you in person. But thanks to our wonderful students and staff at Blue Eagle Productions, we have a way for you to see our school virtually. We hope you enjoy our walk through Weathersfield High School. Hi, my name's Mia. And I'm Lena. Welcome to Weathersfield High School. Welcome to the main entrance. This is where students and faculty come in. We all bear our own IDs and every faculty member and student has their own identification. This is the school counseling office where students can come and make schedule changes. Before COVID, you were able to go in and personally make an appointment. But now, due to the changes, we have to adapt to the circumstances and they have to email the counselor in advance to schedule an appointment. They can also meet with a grief counselor or a therapist to talk about any personal problems that might come up in their life. guidance office where students come and meet with their guidance counselor after they have an appointment and now an email. This is our main office here at Weathersfield High School. Here, come on in. All right, so here we have our secretary desks. If you're late in the morning, you can check in over there, which is the security in the main entrance. And you just scan your ID and you'll get a slip which you give to your teacher which will then go in power school. And here is our nurse's office. In here we have some rooms with cots for students to lay in and then we also have another bathroom in here. Students just come here if they're um, This is one of our two main stairwells and at each main stairwell there is an elevator area. So. Going to the fifth floor where the math classrooms are located. We have arrived. Welcome to the fifth floor. This is room 502. This is Blander's room, and she does the F floor and is also in charge of math. So let's go. Room 537, and this is Mr. Kier. Now we're at the other side, the other main staircase of our school, where the other elevator is located. This is the Lander, and we wanted to point out that each staircase has an area of refuge for students with disabilities, or maybe if there's a student who had broken a light or something, it is an crutches for. Uh, fire drills and fire escape. Welcome to the fourth floor. This is our mainly science floor, but there's also some world language classes on this floor. Here we have 401, Mr. Brown's room. This wing is our home to our electronic music program and our Blue Blues. Here's the electronic music program room run by Mr. Rio and Mr. Bowles. This is where we edit our school news, Blue Eagle News. This is our studio for Blue Eagle News. Thank you. 
This is our band and orchestra classroom. This is our choir room taught by Mr. Rio. He teaches concert choir, treble choir, and choral ears. The classroom also, here's our school's auditorium. This is where the plays and musicals typically happen, not right now. And I think the orchestra is going to be rehearsing here starting Monday. This is our fitness room. This is our library media center. Will the freshmen take pool as their gym class? Here is one of our gyms. This is Gym B, a smaller gym. This is the gym that was being used before renovation. Um, due to COVID, they are actually using half of this gym for lunch to allow more social distancing among students. Down this hall is where the gym lockers are located for both boys and girls, and they each have a restroom inside of them. This is also our wrestling room for the school, where wrestling practice takes place. go into gym A, which is our most commonly made gym, it is uh, uh, the attitude footprint of the school during renovation. Right, so this is our cafeteria. Um, as part of the changes for COVID-19, we replaced all of the normal circular tables, right? We had large group seating and small group seating options, and they've been all replaced with six foot long tables. All students are facing the same direction. We currently have 10 lunch waves, so it's a staggered start. So when one group is not in here, it's being cleaned and sanitized. And we're also using half of Gym B for lunches. These are our TVs. They're in all of our common places around the school. Um, they display student photography work, anything we need to know about upcoming events, or um, COVID-19 regulations. This is our digital media, art, and engineering hallway. Art gallery where some students art display. This is room 20, Mr. Bay's room, he's our teacher. shop and they also do bicycle repair here for bicycle. We have gorgeous outdoor fields here at Weathersfield High. Here's our track which is used during gym classes, track and field practices, and is also open to the public. This is the baseball field where boys baseball and girls softball play. Here's our beautiful football field. Many sports practice and play here such as soccer, football, and field hockey. All of these areas were completely redone during the renovation, which occurred from 2013 to 2017. 
Here are the tennis courts. Girls and boys tennis teams practice here and they are also open to the community. We hope that when we return to school in August, we will be back to normal with no COVID restrictions such as masks. But when we have more information to share, we will certainly do so. For now, we hope everyone enjoys a much deserved summer vacation. See you in September.